So here's the thing, forget bulky towers, stealing your desk space, guzzling power and sounding like jet engines. Say hello to desktop dominance in miniature. In this video I'm going to show you everything you want to know about the Minis Forum UM780 XTX. Can this compact powerhouse deliver the power that demanding users crave? Well put it to the tests and help you decide if it's worth the investment. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button and before we get technical let's dive into what's inside. Cracking open the box we find the PC nestled snugly in plastic. Same compact size as the UN1265 I reviewed recently but it's noticeable hefty and weighty. No plastic here, it's all metal. Nice. In the bottom compartment there's a Tiger sticker and we'll explore it later. Quick start guides and manuals. And what's hidden away in this paper box? A surprise, an Oculink adapter, a nice bonus for future expansion. Now screws, loads of screws, and these are for the optional metal stand which I might skip for pure minimalism. Lastly, a basic HDMI cable and a power cable and a dedicated 120 watt adapter. Ok, so let's dive deeper and take a closer look at this little PC. Pack in the same compact size as the UM1265, the UM780 XTX sheds its office vibes for a slicker, gamer-centric aesthetic. Its front panel hosts dual type A and one type C USB port alongside order out and CMOS reset button, ready for quick access. Flip it around and you'll be greeted by a robust selection of ports. Dual HDMI and DisplayPort outputs cater to multi-monitor setups, while a USB 4 port for fast data transfer and dual 2.5G RJ45 network sockets for lag-free online gaming and demanding tasks. Two additional USB Type-A ports round out the back, ideal for peripherals during initial setup, the wired keyboard and a mouse, though you can switch to wireless later. Vents on both sides keep everything cool under pressure. The compact metal chassis features a magnetic plastic top panel for easy access. Beneath, the Tiger LED shines through a dedicated spotlight, showcasing a dynamic color animation. However, there are no built-in options to customize the animation or choose a static color. Now, for a life hack with a personal touch, I discovered you can add overlays or stencils. My unique aesthetic involved printing a black and white Punisher school and YouTube channel logo on a regular page paper, sliding it in, voila! Super cool, but only for about an hour and the LED illumination can be quite bright especially at night. Fortunately, disabling it in BIOS is simple. Just restart your PC and keep pressing delete key repeatedly during boot to enter BIOS. Navigate to Setup, Advanced and Onboard Devices setting and disable RGB LED at the bottom. Save and exit and voila, no more light show, easy peasy. If you're craving performance boost, you might toss in extra RAM or SSD for a quick upgrade. And for serious graphic power, the included optional Oculink port lets you connect an external GPU. This Oculink inclusion definitely makes a Minis Forum future ready supersonic option. Talking modifications, this PC gives you options, VES amount so you can slap this on the back of your monitor or TV or you could go for the included sleek metal stand. Setting it up is very easy, just grab screws 1 and 2, mini screwdriver, boom, desktop domination achieved. This PC comes in preloaded with Windows 11 Home Edition. It might seem daunting for Mac users like myself, but surprisingly the design language feels familiar and the simplicity of Windows 11 is very intuitive, almost Mac OS like. I like it. Let's dive into the performance of this bad boy. Under the hood, you'll find an AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS processor. This 8 core beast, capable of reaching 5.1 GHz, effortlessly tackles gaming, 3D rendering, and even light VR. Backing it up is 32 GB of DDR5 RAM, ensuring smooth multitasking, while the speedy PCIe 4.0 solid state drive gives you lightning fast data access. 
Typical for Menis Forum, liquid metal CPU cooling and intelligent fans keep things cool and quiet under pressure, letting you focus on tasks without a noisy distraction. Menis Forum's renowned cooling ensures efficient heat dissipation, even during intense gaming sessions. I've checked the Geekbench scores and this bad boy's got a single core score of 2467 and a multi-core of 13,007 points. Plus, the Radeon GPU crushes OpenCL with a score of 32,275 points dominating the competition in its size class. Cinebench, no problem, we're talking 16,411 multi-core and 1,784 single-core with a solid 9.2 multi-core performance ratio. And the thermals, cool as cucumber. This rig keeps it cool under pressure, max temps hit 59 degrees Celsius at the vents and even on the heavy load the fans only whisper at 38 decibels, when idling, barely there, around 23 decibels, quieter than a mosquito. Numbers are cool, but the real-world performance matters most. In the office, this mini PC would obviously crush any productivity tasks, no matter how complex. But if you'd need a break, a little gaming? No sweat, the legendary Forza Horizon 5 on this mini PC. Easy peasy on medium graphics and 1080p, smoother than butter. Bumping it to high and 60 FPS? No sweat but the fans are starting to sound like a mini jet engine. Can it handle ultra high and max settings? Surprisingly, yes. Seriously, even on ultra high and max settings, this thing churns out the visuals and the fans are not that loud. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Check this out, AMD Boost isn't just hype, it actually upscales all the games and anything rocking 1080p, even 720p to a crisp 2K or glorious 4K, plus it even throws in extra frames when possible, ensuring everything stays buttery smooth. It's got multiple fully adjustable profiles to tweak, Hyper RX goes full throttle for max performance, quality mode prioritizes eye candy visuals and Hyper Eco chills things down to minimize heat, noise and power draw. Default profile keeps things vanilla, but you can customize each one to find the sweet spot for any game. Trust me, I've been messing around and it's seriously impressive. 4K HDR? Yeah! Well, maybe not, the frame rate drops faster than my hopes for a free pizza party. <laughs> Sticking to 2K with a sprinkle of AMD's magic upscaling software. Boom, smooth visuals, crisp details, basically 4K without the performance meltdown. Sweet spot achieved. Toasty. Next up, my personal gaming favorite. Let's dive into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Starting at 2K with medium graphics, it easily surpasses my dusty Xbox One S. Time to say goodbye, definitely this PC takes its place now. Now let's blast off to Starfield, my newest gaming obsession. This mini PC tackles HD like a champion, cruising smoothly on low, medium and even high settings, but well, there's a tricky part. Default Starfield resolution starts at 720p and unfortunately changing it directly seems like a black hole we can't escape. Thankfully the AMD Adrenaline app seamlessly upscaling our visuals to a smooth 1080p experience, but only the motion blur takes a bit of a hit, but honestly the visuals are still out of this worlds and the gameplay stays smooth as butter. Now if you're a space captain who craves maxed out settings and 4K visuals, even with the AMD Adrenaline app's upscaling superpowers, prepare for a bumpy raid. You might encounter frame rates as low as 5 frames per second, which wouldn't exactly be a smooth journey. So while this mini PC is a stellar performer, keep your expectation realistic for the smoothest spacefaring experience. So, this mini PC is a beast in disguise. It handles 1080p and 2K gaming smoothly thanks to AMD's boost, all while staying relatively quiet. Talk about making my Xbox obsolete! 
personally, it's a dream come true. However, this beast doesn't come cheap. My review unit falls in the upper mid range at 629 British pounds. There's a bare bones option and a beefier 64GB RAM version too. Check the Amazon links in the description. Is it worth it? Absolutely, it's future proof for sure, but for light gaming consider the more affordable Minis 4 UN 1265 I reviewed recently. Also keep an eye out for the Codlex GD70, a Minis Forum sub-brand mini PC I'll showcase soon. This snazzy mini PC was sent over by Minis Forum for us to put through its paces, completely free of charge. Now the important part, no strings attached, no hidden script for me to follow. Every test, every opinion you see here straight from your head. So chill, I'm not pushing anything, just giving you my genuine thoughts. Sure there might be a couple minor quirks, but overall this little beast has seriously impressed me. And hey, it definitely deserves some praise. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys on the next one.